Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again in the previous episode we lost the game It was on the conquest mode and essentially we went bankrupt a lot of people have suggested the reasons for that But mainly it revolves around the farm getting damaged and then we had a massive deficit because we had two huge doom ships that were well One of them was damaged um, and then got destroyed and they were just very expensive for what they were But they were interesting designs and a lot of people have suggested other ones And I also asked what you want to do do you want to go back to conquest mode things like that? But I've thought you know what I think what would be better best is if we spend the next sort of couple of episodes just going around building the different things that people want and just trying the designs out and getting through that big batch of suggestions and we've also got ones that we've built and haven't yet tested so let's crack on with that let's do a, um, a design and fight we need to go over to combat and obviously we're going to pick a nice day here and we want to add some airships, specifically one that we made and never tried out. So we designed the Islington, or the Islandington, and as you can see, it is an island. It's uh, it's very cheap. In fact, we can get a total of 10 of them for less than 10,000 generic units of currency. So you can see that each island is pretty much just a big pile of rock and dirt with a couple of trees and shrubberies on it. Um, in, sunk into that... You have your command and crew, you have a gun with a bit of ammo, you have a barracks, and finally at the top you have a radio station, which links back to, I'm guessing, a battery of 25 pounders or some such that's going to uh, rain in artillery, so that's good. So, for the enemy, we want to say add building, and because we can, we're going to put it up against the Black Wallington, which is a very, very, very silly design. As you can see, it is just a big load of cannon, and when it gets hit, it blows up. So let's just click start and see what happens. So immediately, what happens is these get shot to hell. Look at that. Immediately, they've just been hit very, very, very hard. But eventually, you're going to hear death coming in. There it is. Oh, my good grief. And the game is dying. Um, yeah, that ge th yeah, the game went to pretty much zero FPS for a moment there. Um, and oh, good grief, there's the incoming! Bang! And yeah, it's self-destructing. I think. No, it's not self-destructing yet. But it's getting there. And look at that! Look at that rain! That is insane! Yep, there we go. It's crumbling under its own weight. And it goes. Yeah. It's still going. It's still going. And, oh, I've got more artillery just in case uh, we hadn't finished it off enough. Yep, I think we can fairly confidently say we've won that one. Uh, <laughs> so there's a victory. So, we knew that was going to happen. But, back to combat. That's something that is very, very... Uh, we knew that was going to crack on like that, but we didn't really give it a fair chance. So we're going to say, add airship. We're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 of those, 9,150 cost. Let's add some proper buildings. So we knew we were going to have, say, an air... Let's say we'll put an airfield on. Although the airfield will kill us, because we've, no, we've got no counter to that. <laughs> Which we know that these are bad for that. Um... But no, let's do it properly. We could, we could theoretically see find this thing here. So we've got an airfield. Um, we'll say building, and we don't want a red wall or the omnom noms or anything like that. Black citadel might be a realistic thing we can come across. That's okay. We're actually going to move them right to the back because that's probably where they would be. In fact, the airfield would also probably be near the back. So we'll put that back there. And then we'll add an airship. So what could they have? They could have a carrier, but realistically, they're probably going to have something more like a couple of reacting tins. We'll have a reacting tin there. We'll have airship. We'll go for Old Faithful of the Subington. There we go. And they are slightly underpointed, so we'll say we'll add a land ship. And we've got the mini sniper, the assaulting tin. We've got the lifting tin, the ship that shouldn't work, the ground ship that shouldn't work, but it does. Uh, gun towers, which is a fantastic piece of kit. Uh, the dog wagon, which was okay. <laughs> um, the scorpion, the OT Tington. I think we'll have an OT Tington, and that puts it over pointed by a bit. So we'll go for our side. We'll say, mm, actually, I could probably get rid of that. Uh, they're still over pointed. Mm, they're only just under pointed now. Okay, so they have this thing. 
the uh, OT Teington. We've got a sub, which we'll put about there. We've got an airfield, and we've got a defensive structure there. So we'll click start and immediately pause it. We're going to select all of these. We will say uh, focus fire, and we'll say focus fire on um, that. Hang on, why have they not done it? Oh, focus on moving. That's the wrong thing. I suppose click that one. Oh, well. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, see that? We've just lost the uh, command center on that because uh, that just fired its main gun. But... <laughs> one volley. One volley on the OT Tington. And there's a little bit of scrap left. Oh, good grief. I think it's kicking off over here. Yeah, torpedoes are hitting me. Uh, there's another set of artillery. Oh, my good grief. Okay. So we can happily say... That the artillery, these things are completely and utterly broken, um, we, which we knew about. We knew that there was a problem when it came to uh, when it came to the artillery pieces. Let's focus fire on that, and eventually, what you're going to see. I mean, they've got little shots. Look, they've got these little guns at the front, the little cannons. But that is the main mode of attack, and <laughs> it's so insane. It's so stupid. It it, you know, well, they say if it's stupid but it works, it's not stupid. Well, that's not strictly true. It can still be stupid. But, you know, if it works, then I'll take it. Um, we've pretty much crisped the airfield. It's, it's com yeah, it's burning from front to back, and we've completely taken it out. And there's another volley. I don't even know what it's targeting, but it's totally indiscriminate. Actually, as you can see, these here, we've got... Um, running out of ammo so that might be a problem they might not have a lot of staying power but we've won the fight um, unless these run completely out of ammo I'm actually I'm actually gonna wait to see if they do run out of ammo because I don't think I don't think the uh, the artillery stations require ammo I'm pretty sure they don't but whether or not the game the game might run out of ammo all these ships might run out of ammo, and the game might say because they've got no ammo, they can't fight, which means we lose because we've got nothing to fight with. They're out of ammo. Well, they say they're out of ammo. But that's definitely some guns firing. There's more artillery. Yeah, and we've won. So the guns have stopped. Not because of the lack of targets, but simply because of lack of ammo. But we can still fight. Okay, so yeah. Having artillery does mean you can still fight. Um, this is probably going to take a while to end, but I think we can fairly confidently say we've won that one. So we'll leave that. Okay. So, back to combat again. Let's do... Let's do what we originally intended. So it's it's airship. It is the Doom Shippington. Like that one there. And we'll place him out there. We'll have the one. Um, add a airship and we'll have the that one is insane this is a mod one it's just got a honking cannon on it look at that <laughs> we'll try because why not uh, we'll go for the airship again and we will get where is it what's that one that's clockwork I can't even read that <laughs> I cannot even translate that uh, we've got buzzers, we've got all sorts of stuff. Let's go for the island. Uh, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. That would probably be our loadout. 12,000 for us, so the opponents... It would be nice to automatically uh, get whatever... It would automatically like, populate the other side. So we'll add land ship. We'll get... Um, well, the OTT tins are quite decent, so we're going to have a couple of those, two of those... Three of those, in fact. Why not? Why not? Because they're expensive. Two of those. Land ship again. Mini bombards are good. Snipey, the Murrington, Scorpion. No. Got all sorts of stuff here. What the hell is that? Monica's Ram. It's a ramming vessel and it's got like suspendium things down the bottom. Well, we haven't seen one of those, so we'll we'll get one. Oh, it's a, it's a hover vehicle. Oh, that's fairly cool, isn't it? All right, okay, well, we'll move that back there. We'll move that forward. Um, and we'll see what happens here. I'm going to put these forward, and what will happen is as soon as they start, that will crush down. There we go. Um, airships now. So, you know what? Should we have some Swarmingtons? 
Uh, we'll have a couple of Zeppingtons, actually. One, two. And we'll have some Swarmingtons. So, where are they? Oh, they'll be Fighteringtons, surely. Oh, actually, no, let's put the KVs in. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are only just pointed. That's about right. 12,073, 12,123. So they're slightly overpointed. So I have got four, uh, six islands, one doom ship, and this over the Toppington, and we will start the fight. So immediately we'll pause it. We'll get this thing to target that. Everything will target uh, this, because I think it's... These, these are generally... I think they're going to be the most problematic. We'll also target the uh, one at the top because we can't do much about that. There's the big cannons going off and immediately it's hit the doom ship and we've had a problem there. We've uh, lost the suspendium and that's on fire. Our main um, thing... Oh, why is it not moving? Move! Fly! Fly! Move! 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 Go! 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 No, it's getting rammed. Um, it looks like it's just... I didn't think it would get rammed but apparently... This thing is able to ram it. Oh, no, we've got our main gun up and running now. The uh, main doom laser. That's firing away there. Um, we are trying to fight those, but it's not working too well because we are bringing in artillery. The problem with artillery is that it's it only fires at where the target was at the time of launching. As you can see, it takes a while. So, in that case, it worked because, good grief, the island's just been chopped in half with that uh, thing landing on it. Yeah, what happens is you get the... Uh, you, you don't have much lead on artillery on this one. So it takes... It's got a lot of... Uh, the, the, the muzzle velocity is fairly poor, so it takes a while to get in there. But I'm happy to say that the Doom ship is happily cutting it to bits. Can you see that shot? Sorry, the, the shot? You might have been able to see the shots earlier. They were firing away there, so let's target that. You can see we are firing the Doom laser at stuff. So you can see it's hitting this uh, mega weapon is just firing and killing pretty much anything it hits. Uh, this one, we do want to move further forward, but for some reason it is genuinely broke. It's also out of ammo. Looks like there's a KV-2 going to come in for the derp shot, and is it going to get me? Mm, it might. Looks like this is broke. So we've only got one island left. No, one, two, three islands left that we can fight with. The rest is out of ammo. Or out of weapons, in fact. Hmm. Yeah, the this thing, this thing, the doom ship, it's 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 a good idea that's got out of hand. The original idea was to have a very very powerful ship that had a doom laser on it and some artillery. In reality, we made it, we over engineered it, and uh, it's too expensive by far, and it's too under armoured, so it gets destroyed very easily. So against swarms like this. There's nothing much we can do. Okay, let's leave that. Let's go back to combat. And I want to do... Well, I'm going to do something that one person has suggested. Airship, KV-2. And they suggested trying to fit as many on as we can field. Actually, this, their suggestion was to uh, field lots and lots and lots of them on either side. Uh, on our um, assault on the main campaign. Obviously, we're not doing that because we're not on the campaign, but 369, 369, 12, 369, 12, 36. Okay, we got a lot of them. We got a hell of a lot. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, in fact. So, let's get 30 KV-2s, flying, obviously, versus 30 KV-2s. Is it going to work? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, it'll work. Um, what will happen is really anybody's guess. I reckon there's going to be a big, loud bang the first as soon as I click this start button and loads of them are going to fall out the sky. Well, it'll be fun finding out. Well, there's the volleys. It wasn't as impressive as I thought. Why are they not firing? I have they fired. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, they're actually carving into each other. That's understandable, right? Yeah, they're chipping away. Do you know what the problem is? That the KV-2s are too armoured. They're armed with 
they're arm the armored with um, stellinium, I think. So you know the bouncing shots that you shouldn't, including their own gun. Yeah, they're firing away. A lot of bangs, but it's a lot of noise, but not much effect. Yeah. See, the opponent's winning simply because the computer is targeting things, whereas I'm not. So if I target that, yeah, that's now broke. <laughs> We've got the floating back bit. Um, I mean, I could target. Can I click that one? Yeah. So target ship, that one there. So when they fire, it'll probably take that down and it'll crush all these. Is it going to happen? Yeah, sadly, they're not very accurate. KV-2 gun not known for its accuracy. But, it should be known for its hitting power, which, sadly, it ain't the case here. I thought that was going to be a lot more impressive. I'm a bit disappointed on that one. Oh, well. Okay. One last fight, then. So, we're going to go to add airship. And we want... Where is it? That's a laserington. That's something we messed around with before. Um... Oh, there's a couple of islands that are uh, being pre-made. Some mechanized stuff. Yeah, we haven't tried these. We've seen them a couple of times. We have seen them a couple of times. Oh, that thing. That's the automated thing we've seen previously. Actually, it's not automated, but we've seen this thing previously. In our game. In the campaign. Okay. So what I want, I'm trying to find, it's an airship. And it was something we made a while ago. Still depressed about that doom shippington. There it is, the drone ship. People want to have the drone ship. Oh, I want to see what happens when we reverse the drone ship. Because I, I had a couple of fights where we were the drone ship. We were playing the drone ship, but we weren't fighting against it. So let's see what we can do. So we'll have this automated thing. And we'll have probably a couple of islands, because why not? Um, probably have a doom ship on our side. And that'll probably put us near near cost anywhere. Um, airship will have... I mean, another way to do it, you uh, will use... Where is it? Reacting to mech suit. One, two. Actually, that's very expensive, and that's pretty much pointed now. Yeah, those will win us the game, because those will just take this thing over. But let's just click Start, and we'll immediately move these mech suit right over the top. Immediately, Volley, as you can see, is taking out the uh, Suspendium Dust Tanks on the top there, which we knew was going to be the case, because when we built it, we just thought that's a... It's actually a supplementary... It's actually a supplementary um, piece of kit. Well, immediately, this thing's dropped down. It's fallen out the sky, but the hazards have already been launched, which is the main issue. I've told these guys to board, but I don't think they're close enough. There we go. I've told them to board ship, but they're not boarding. I don't know whether or not the... Ah, oh, the barracks have been destroyed on this, so they've actually got nothing in there. The mech suit's there, but there's no one to crew the thing. Um, we are carving everything up here, and you can see the shots coming out. Lots of artillery, absolutely wrecking face there, but look, the drones are out already. The uh, hazards are out, but they are getting shot, because there's a couple of flak... There was a couple of flak guns on this thing, <laughs> no longer, as you can see. But, I mean, look at that, the drone ship's gone, but it's launched its cargo. The payload's out. Um, and there's only realistically that that can stop them. And we are taking them out very slowly, but then again, look, that's getting picked apart. Nowhere to repair. It's firing down there, but I mean, pff, look at that. It's an explosion in a girder factory, that's all it is. This is running out of ammo. Zero ammo, it's got 65 shots left, and most of the ammo is for the front guns that we won't be using anymore. Um, 
I'll speed up a little bit. These hazards are doing quite, I was going to say, doing quite well. That is falling out the sky. So that was about to be destroyed. If this drone ship still had a section left, I reckon they could have, I reckon they could have won it. Because these hazards will easily chowder up these two islands and the doom ship because neither they can, nothing nothing can stop them um, actually maybe the doom ship main weapon this this um super weapon laser type gun thing that might be able to target them i think it can but if it can't then there's nothing to nothing to stop them just coming through so yeah we we sort of won that on a technicality which i'll take i'll take a technicality win over a loss that's no problem whatsoever uh, but either way yeah, if, if that drone ship had a couple of, say, like a bomber up top where we couldn't get to it, we'd be very, I think we'd be screwed. Either way, that has been a little bit of messing around and trying all of, uh, so, well, not all of, but trying several of the suggestions from the comments. Um, probably going to do a couple more of these, so I would like to see uh, what sort of fights you want to see, but also what we want to build, because we're not just going to be doing straight fights. I just wanted to get that out of the way now, because there's several ones we wanted to do. Um, but what designs you have, by all means, let me know in the comments. I'll also be going back through the last couple of episodes to build different things and try them out, and uh, we'll see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.